Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ, blessed Captain Yadaya to my left, Officer Yuri. This is 15 minutes with the captains, and today we're dealing with what? A very, very popular persuasion, which is what? Overpopulation. And today this class is going to show you that what? Overpopulation is a hoax. It's a lie. It's not real. It's a figment of the what? The billionaire white man's imagination. All right? Genesis 1, start at verse 26. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. Come on. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Read. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. He did what? And God blessed them. Read. And God said unto them, be fruitful. Be what? Be fruitful. No, be scarce. Be fruitful. And what? And multiply. No, no, no. Practice eugenics. And multiply. God said be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful. Can I get multiply real quick, if y'all don't mind? Real quick. Let me get multiply. Because God never said use condoms. God never said go to abortion clinics. God said be fruitful and multiply that's what god said y'all got that let's get multiply let's read that real quick all right because nowadays in these letters you got people like bill gates you got many of these billionaires they call them oligarchs in other countries who want to tell you that if you have more than one or two kids you need to do what you need to practice safe sex sex is safe if it's between a married man and a married woman it is safe it's honorable and God said what? If you are what? In an honorable marriage, you be fruitful and you multiply. All right? Y'all got that? Put it up for me. Be fruitful and multiply. Read again. Verse 28. Why did I get that? Yes, sir. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Read. be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. Read on. And replenish the earth. Uh-huh. And subdue it. And do what? And subdue it. Subdue the earth. Read. Is that it on that? And have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air. All right, so it's on the screen. Go ahead, read that. Multiply. Come on. Increase or cause to increase greatly in number or quantity. So the definition of multiply is to increase or cause to increase greatly in number or quantity. That was a commandment from God Almighty to increase and cause to increase greatly. God never said kill your children. God never said the earth was scarce. God never said the earth was small. They say, it's a small world. Lies. The earth is not small. We drive for hours and see nobody. We see nothing but what? Woodland and forest land and grass. Corn. I see corn everywhere I go. From there. Give me, um, give me, um, give me Genesis. Give me Genesis. God never told us to have abortions. Let's get Genesis chapter 1. Jump down. Give me uh, verse 26. Come on. Verse 26, and God said, let us make man in our image Read. after our likeness uh -huh. and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Watch this, verse 31. Verse 31, and God saw everything that he had made. He saw everything that he had made. Come on. And behold. It was very good. It was very scarce. It was very good. Read. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. So God created man on the sixth day. And he said that everything was in order. Everything was good. He never said man had to be worried. Overpopulation is a persuasion that makes us worry about having children. It makes us worry about if the earth can provide for us. 
God never made the earth for us to worry. He made us last. We were made right before the Sabbath. And he said that it was good. Everything else was in order. Everything was set for us. Come on. In the evening, in the morning, were the sixth day. So on the sixth day, everything was in order. There is no need for what? Abortions. There is no need for what? Condoms. If you practice what? Husband and marriage. That's a proper marriage. From there, from there. Let's go to uh, Psalms 104. Psalms 104, verse 24. We're going to keep it We'll keep it going quick because this is 15 minutes with the captain. Psalms 104, start at verse 24. Come on. Psalms chapter 104, verse 24. Watch this. O Lord, how manifold are thy works. In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. Read it one more time. O Lord, how manifold are thy works. So it says how manifold is God's works. God's, God's works was made by a, master, a mastermind. God is what? A mastermind. He's a strategist. Everything he made is in order. Everything he's made is by a particular design. Read on. In wisdom hast thou made them all. No, he made things half-hearted. In wisdom hast thou made them all. Everything the Lord God made, he made it in wisdom. Meaning what? He thought it all the way through. He counted the cost. God never did anything half-hearted or half-ass. Read. The earth is full of thy riches. He says the earth is full of his riches. Read on. So is this great and wide sea. You got great and wide seas. The earth is full of riches. Read. Where, wherein are things creeping innumerable. It says the things in this earth for us to what? Satisfy ourselves. For us to survive are innumerable. But the white man say different. The white man say things are scarce. The earth is too small. We got to track carbon footprints. We need to go everything electric. We need to kill the cows. We need to kill chickens. Let's kill the animals to save the world. What the hell? Read 24 again. Come on. Oh, Lord, how manifold are thy works. In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. Read. So is this great and wide sea. We got a great and wide sea on the earth. Read. Wherein are things creeping innumerable, uh, both small and great beasts. Both small and great beasts. Verse 27, come on. Verse 27. These wait all upon thee, uh -huh. that thou mayest give them their meat in due season. Everything on the earth is what? Is in line with the Most High God. They may receive what? Meat in due season. The Lord provides for us all. If he provides for what? The birds and the animals in the sea. How much more shall he provide for us? But what? Our enemies tell us different. And many of you believe them at home. From there, from there. Get some, get uh, Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45. And give me verse 18. Y'all going to learn today. Isaiah 45. Let's read verse 18. Let's see what it says. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 18. For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens, huh? God himself that formed the earth and made it. No, no, no. We came from a, a big bang. God himself. That formed the earth and made it. Darwinism? God himself that formed the earth and made it. A particle collider like CERN? For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens. Uh -huh. God himself that formed the earth and made it. Come on. He hath established he it. He established it. Come on. He created it not in vain. God didn't make the earth in vain. Read. He formed it to be inhabited. Damn. It said he made the earth to be inhabited. But you got a white man telling us that it's too many of us. The earth don't need us. We need Georgia Guidestones to tell us to keep the earth under such and such population. But God says, the Bible says that he made it to be inhabited. But they want it to be desolate. Read on. I am the Lord and there is none else. It says, I am the Lord and there is none else. Get to Rock 37. Because many of our enemies are the main ones who telling us, telling married men and women, practice safe sex. Have a small family. Be aware of your carbon footprint. Okay, let's see what the Bible says. Sirach 37, read 8. Ecclesiasticus chapter 37 and verse 8. Come on. Beware of a counselor. Hold on. It said beware of what? Of a counselor. You know your counselors is today? Your doctors. World Health Organization. Anthony Fauci, your scientist. Bill Gates is a doctor who is not a doctor. That's interesting. I find that quite bizarre. 
You got a man sticking needles in people's arms. He never even graduated high school. He has no degree, but he's going from country to country telling them how to run their country if and when a pandemic occurs. His parents are the same ones who implemented eugenics in the earth. His father, his wife, Melinda Gates, the, the, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Look it up. Read that verse again. What did God say? Beware of a counselor uh -huh. and know before what need he have. The only thing Bill Gates need is for Negroes to die. So beware of what he say. Beware of who you listen to. That's what God is telling you. From there, get Acts 17. Acts 17, 24. Let's get that. The Bible says, beware of a counselor. Read that. Acts chapter 17, verse 24. Read. God that made the world uh -huh. and all things therein, uh -huh. seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, uh -huh. dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Read. Neither is worship with men's hands, uh -huh. as though he needed anything. God don't need anything. He don't need counsel from Fauci. He don't need counsel from Bill Gates or Elon Musk. He don't need counsel or instruction from any of them. Read on. Come right. on. Verse 24. Verse 25. Read. Neither is sing, work. Sing verse 20. He. Excuse me. Seeing he in the, in the middle of 25. Yes, sir. Seeing he giveth to all life. It says God giveth to all life. Come on. And breath and all things. Read. And hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth. The Lord God made the righteous and the wicked to inhabit this earth. Come on. And had determined the times. He did what? And have determined the times. The most I got, he thought this whole thing all the way through. It says he have determined the times. He have determined the generations. Come on. Before appointed in the bounds of their habitation. He have already set bounds and restrictions for all life on earth that ever was or ever will be. He need not a man that shall die who days at best 80 years or 70 years to tell him anything. He does not need a counselor. From there, get Ecclesiastes 1. Let's prove it. Ecclesiastes 1. Start at verse 4. Read Ecclesiastes that. chapter 1 and verse 4. Come on. One generation passeth away, uh -huh. and another generation cometh. One generation passeth away, another one cometh. Come on. But the earth abideth forever. Read on. The sun also ariseth, and the sun goeth down, Read. and hasteth to his place where he arose. Read. The wind goeth toward the south, and turneth about unto the north. Read. It whirleth about continually, and the wind returneth again according to his circuit. Everything is according to a circuit, a design, a plan. That's what God is showing you. Just like the generations, just like the wind, just like the sun. Everything has a plan, a design, a circuit. Read on. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full. Just like the sea is not full, guess what? One generation come and the earth is not full because all generations cannot come at once. Come on. Unto the place from whence the rivers come. Uh -huh. Thither they return again. Just like Solomon taught us, what? The spirit of man goes upward. All of us do not dwell at the bottom or on the earth at the same time. Everything is according to a circuit, a design, a plan. From there, Let's get uh, Psalms. Let's get Psalms 104. Psalms 104. Let's read verse 29. Psalm chapter 104, verse 29. Read. Thou hidest thy face. Uh -huh. They are troubled. Thou takest away their breath. When God took away our breath, read. They die. Come on. And return to their dust. And then what? That's one generation. One generation turns to the dust because God takes away their breath. Come on. Thou sendest forth thy spirit. Read. They are created. Then God sent forth his spirit on another generation. They what? They are created. Read. And thou renewest the face of the earth. Then he what? He replenished the earth. Come on. The glory of the Lord shall endure forever. We would never understand God's ways. He need not any man to counsel him. He has everything set to a particular plan, a particular design. Everything is set in its course. From now, let's go to uh, Job 12. Job 12. And let's read verse 23. Come on. 
Job chapter 12, verse 23. Read. He increaseth the nations. God increased the nations. Come on. And destroyeth them. No, he let them increase to the point where the earth cannot produce for them. And destroyeth them. He increased the nations, then he destroyed them. Because what? Everything is in a delicate balance. Like Lion King. Ain't that what Mufasa taught Simba? Read that again. He increaseth the nations and destroyeth them. Read. He enlargeth the nations uh -huh. and straighteneth them again. He straightened them again. Meaning what? He decreased them. Read on. He taketh away the heart of the chief of the people so of the earth. I, that was all I want on that. Get second edges four. We almost done. Second edges four. In verse 40. Second edges chapter four and verse 40. Read. So he answered me and said, go thy way to a woman with child and ask of her when she has fulfilled her nine months, if her womb may keep the birth any longer within her. Read. Then said I, no, Lord. Read. That can she not. Read. And he said unto me. In the grave, the chambers of souls are like the womb of a woman. The souls of men are just like the womb of a woman. Read. For like as a woman that travaileth, make haste to escape the necessity of the travail. Even so do these places haste to deliver those things that are committed unto them. Read. From the beginning, look what thou desirest to see. It shall be showed thee. So in all things, there is balance. Not only are all things done strategically on earth, even, the, even in the grave, the souls that are in the grave, they are sent back in the earth in their proper time. We don't need no white man giving us counsel. Overpopulation is a hoax. It's a lie. It is bull crap. And with that, we say shalom. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with robots.